This is a, uh, a video of how you can take a part in the Ultra Librarian and export it to Cadence Allegro. We're actually going to show you two methods here. If you have Cadence installed on your CAD tool, you can um, simply come up here to the File, Ex File, Export Options, select Cadence, and depending on the exact version that you have licensed and available to you, um, you may have to change some radio buttons. Uh, once you've selected the correct uh, export, you say OK, and you export the library. And what you're going to see happening here, and I can't fit it all in the screen, is you're going to see Allegro running automatically out of the box directly from our tool. And it's going to create your pad stacks, your flashes. It's going, to it's going to create all of the features that you need to build this part. Now, if you're running a newer version of Allegro than we have stored in our blank BRD file in the CAD Infos directory, you will have to say yes here. If you'd like to avoid doing that, go into the Ultra Librarian CAD Infos directory, find the board.brd, open it up in your new tool, and save it. And from that point forward, it will use your newest board rather than the old board. However, if you do that, you will not be able to open up an older version of Allegro with our tool automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes, and you're going to see it sit here and draw pads and vias and lines and arcs and all kinds of things. When it's done, it will shut down. I'll open it up just to show you that it worked. All right, so there it shut down just as we expected. I'm going to come over here and open up uh, Orkin. And we're going to zoom out. And that's what we had in our CAD tool. I'll kind of prove that to you by closing some files up here. Closing some files up. This is what we were looking to send you. Um, you will find that in Allegro, you have the place boundaries, you have the flashes required for the pads, you have drill sizes, all the same information as what you have in our tool. It should be a one for one. Now, that's based on this design was able to be exported using Allegro on the same machine. If you didn't have that ability, I'm gonna, this is done in a, a VM, I'm going to move off to my main machine. This machine does not have Allegro installed. And so we're going to go through the same process. I'll go to Export Options. I'll select Cadence Allegro 15.2, and I'll up it to 16. I say OK. I export. And this time, in addition to any error messages or instructions that I get, you'll see that my command window freezes. Close that window. Now what you should be able to do, I'm going to bring my VM that has Allegro on it back over. Um, we'll scroll down a little bit. We'll open up Explorer. We'll go to this machine that we just stored all the data on. And I got to move this up a little bit. The latest one here, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it on um, the local VMware machine in the same basic directory if I could get away with it. Now, uh oh, wrong spot. Now, I will have to modify the path because on my main machine, you'll see that the batch file was created pointing at the E drive, but I'm storing it on the C drive. So I'm going to make that one minor mod to this batch file. I'm going to save it. And now I should be able to run the batch file, and it will create for me the same Allegro information, as you can see. So in, in brief review, it's real simple to get to Allegro if you have it installed on the machine. All you should have to do is hit um, Export Options, determine the correct version of Allegro, and then Export. And it will start Allegro up for you, build all the files in your open library, and then export the tool, or export to the tool. Now, if you're using the free reader, it is exactly the same process. The only difference is you won't have to go to submenus. This menu uh, export options will be on the main screen, and your export entire library is on the main screen. You will only be able, in that case, to export one part, whereas in this uh, better tool, we can export multiple parts at a time. The other thing I'd like to point out is that we create all of these files, like the draw files that are used for Allegro, the PSM files and the journal files, which keep track of what we did. If you should have a problem,
provide back the BXL file that caused your problem, the journal file, so we can see where it failed, and the source data that you were given originally, which is this set of scripts right here. Um, you also see the flash file, which is so hard to build. I just thought I'd point that out to you, too. So that's the conclusion. Like I said, I don't expect you to have problems. If you do, please make sure you send us all the journal files. You'll see several of them here.